Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome. I'm sorry it's been forever. I have uh, been, I was on vacation for a little bit from school, uh, about three weeks, just started back last week. Um, I uh, had to study for two and a half years worth of material from our second comprehensive examination and um, it was tough. I, I mean, literally two and a half worth years worth of material in three weeks is no time but some way somehow God saw me through and my classmates and luckily all of us passed our comprehensive exam I um, asked the PT a couple PTs are they saw me at work studying and they're like what are you studying and I'm like comprehensive they're like what is a comprehensive and I'm like what do you mean what is a comprehensive like you don't know um, but it's common in most schools that I've heard of but some don't um, do comprehensive they do like a, a, a practical or a practicum at the end of the I guess school year to I guess tie in all the principles that they learn but ours is a practical and a written exam um, so imagine 110 questions uh, that incorporate two and a half years worth of material like you never know what you're studying for but anyways I made it uh, we took a quick trip to Disney to celebrate my daughter's fifth birthday so that was exciting, um, but I have to say, even on vacation, I wasn't at ease because I was studying while I was on vacation. Um, so for those of you going to school who are in a similar situation like me, a mom, a wife, just know that, you know, sometimes you're just going to have to do everything at once. You can't always get your way, but you know what? A good break is, a break is healthy. You need a break um, every now and then. So anyways... Um, this video today is going to be discussing, I've had a lot of requests uh, to talk about PTA or DPT route. And I decided to kind of give you my opinion based off of my um, pathway on what you could do. So um, as a PTA, um, you it's less schooling. So it's a year and a half of prerequisites, if that. It's up to you. You can complete it in a year if you take 10 million credits, you know. Um, but once you complete it, uh, my program was two years. I've heard of programs that are 18 months. I've heard of some even less. Um, nowadays, uh, the only thing is that it's more crunched and it's more intense. But um, you finish, you come out, you study for your boards, you take your boards, you pass, and you're a PTA. Um, we could apply or work in any setting. Um, as long as, um, you know, they're willing to hire. So, uh, like for me, when I came out, I did a skilled nursing facility. I did uh, an assistant living. I kind of floated around. Um, it was kind of fresh for me and all new, but uh, it worked out. Uh, I went on later and worked in the military or for the military, worked with our wounded warriors, and that was pretty rewarding. Um, enjoyed every bit of it, learned so much. I mean... I had been practicing two years before I got that job, which, again, I say God has always looked out for me some way, somehow. I always get these opportunities that I don't deserve, but I believe that he used those experiences to prepare me for the DPT now. Um, but I would like, you know, my eyes opened. I learned so much. But if I could go back to young me, 20, coming out of school as a PTA, uh, I would have like gone the DPT route if I knew a lot about physical therapy but you know what God has a path for each person your path might be different from mine it doesn't matter how we got here all it matters is that we produce when we get out as clinicians um, so for those that are considering PTA or DPT look at your financial situation so are you financially fit to like for me, I go to, on the weekends to school, so I have to pay gas. I have, I've like my classmates know me. I have had so many car repairs and spent over twenty thousand dollars worth of bills on our cars, um, simply because of the punishment that it takes every weekend when I go to school. Uh, I have to. I used to stay with a lady, but unfortunately, uh, you know, she passed away. So me and the classmates are uh, living in a hotel. And so I have to rent a hotel. Rate, uh, rates change. Weekend rates, holiday rates, and I have to be ready to pay that. But I can do that because I'm financially sound enough to afford, 
you know, going to school as a DPT. Um, if you can stay on campus, great. If you can't, you know, figure out what works for you. So again, if you're financially sound, go DPT. If you can't, just go straight because there's no point if you can afford, you know, cost of living, cost of books, transportation to and fro if you're going to be transporting going back and forth or if you're living on campus that's even better um, but consider these variables um, if you have a child like me I had my child after I finished PTA school but um, if you have a child and you want to go PT DPT if you have supportive family go DPT why not I mean look at me you know um, luckily weekdays I get to spend a lot of time I'm very hands-on Weekends, I have an awesome family, awesome husband, awesome in-laws, and, you know, so they're all helping me out to, you know, succeed. If you could do that, fine, go DPT, but if you don't have that, then maybe you should consider PTA because um, it's less intensive, it requires less um, uh, financial spending, if you will, um, and when you come out, you make decent money. I mean, like I say, and I'll always say, I'm not in physical therapy for the money. If that was the case, I don't even know why, what I'll be doing here because currently as a PTA, I probably make about the same as some PTs. I probably make more than some PTs, um, depending on the state that you're in, depending on the amount of years and exposure, depending on how you market yourself, you have the potential of earning as much, if not even more than some PTs. So if your motivation is about more pay, forget it. You're in the wrong field, I'm telling you. You might get maybe $10,000 more, but maybe that that's about it. So I'm motivated for the passion. I'm motivated because I want to be an entrepreneur, open up my own place without limitations. And so that's what I, why I did it. So be financially sound and don't go in PTA versus DPT for the money. It depends on how you market. It depends on years of experience. It depends on the state that you're staying in. It depends on a bunch of things. Um... Secondly, if you are someone that was, maybe this is your second or third career, um, or your circuit, second or third degree and you're considering switching, um, look at like what you really want to do in terms of how much time are you willing to put into study. I mean, there's no formula, but coming from a PTA who went through PTA school, took up boards, and is currently in DPT, DPT is a whole nother monster. I used to think that, oh, you know, these PTs, it's not that hard. You know, when you look at us in the clinic, and it's true, when you do look at us in the clinic, unless you know who's who, you can't really determine, apart from text or AIDS, you can't really determine who's who. Everyone looks the same. PTA looks the same as the PT. Um, everyone's doing the same kind of interventions, except if, you know, similar, not the same, similar kind of interventions, except if it's an evaluation or a discharge, but how would a... Uh, a, a person know what's going on so I used to think oh it's nothing until I got in let me tell you the study load is intense it's more intense than PTA um, you have to be prepared mindset has to be ready to study it's not a game if you want to succeed my program we're only allotted four C's worth of eight credits so whatever it amounts to which the majority of classes are three to four or maybe just a few two credit courses if you get, you know, one or two C's, four credits a piece, you're out. You know, it doesn't matter how good your GPA was. So you have to work extra hard. Not saying that the PTA program does not have as much um, intensity, but compared to the PTA, the DPT is intense. <coughs> Excuse me, dry throat. Um, so consider that. Um, so anyways, I will continue with this series. As time goes along, um, I pray that whatever you want to do, whether it's PTA or DPT, consider finances, consider, you know, amount of, of time that you need to dedicate to your studies. I dedicate the majority of my day to studying. Aside from working, taking care of my daughter and keeping her busy and doing, being a wife, I, that's my life is if it's not church, if it's not husband or daughter, if it's not school, that's it. So the majority of my time is dedicated to studying. Dedicate your time to studying. Look at your financial situation. See what works for you. You know, like I said in my previous videos, would you rather have $100,000 plus loans 
Or would you rather have like $10,000 loans and be able to pay it off within the first year that you get out of school? You know, PTA versus DPT. Are, is your motivation money? If it is, then get that out of your mind because um, there's so much variability. There's so much potential. Uh, I, as a PTA, have made up to six figures. If I want to, I can make more, but it's all about your ability to work and your ability to market yourself. So, you know, consider these things. Consider your family dynamics. Are, do you do you have help if you have a child? Um, uh, if you do have help, then, you know, like I said, go DPT if you can. If you don't have help, PTA might be the way. Manage it however you can and make it work. Um, consider transportation. If I drive about three and a half hours to get to school. Um, you know, are you okay with paying for gas and maybe a hotel or even lodging, you know, every weekend if you're doing a weekend program or if you're doing weekday, if you're going to have to park on campus or around campus, you know, that's all costs if, if you're parking off campus. Um, so consider these variables and, you know, make the right decision. Whatever it is, whatever you're doing, I hope that, you know, God helps you to make the right decision and I hope that you succeed. Uh, my key word here in my entire channel is I want every all of us to succeed. I want to succeed and I want you to, to, to succeed. Um, I will record another video, um, again, continuing with these the series, and I plan to outline how my semesters in PT school from the beginning I started till now has been so that those of you that are on the path or want to get on the path can follow suit. All right, guys. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you guys and with you guys again, and I will make another video soon. All right, guys. Take care.